The participants of the project are really mixed up. We are an international group from different countries. Our participants came from Spain, from Venezuela, from Poland, from Germany, from Syria, from the USA and from the Ukraine. We first do the topic of going away, going away from home, going away because of war. When I see everything here, I have the same story, the same war and what's happening during the war, how you have to go away, to run and to find your chance. And in some case, you will die, right? like we see here. And I think it's touched me, and that's why I wanted to take part in this workshop. So we are around about 20 participants. We are living together for 10 days here in this youth meeting center and working also here. We talk about the past of Germany and Poland because it's a Polish and German project. But also we meet some eyewitnesses from the past. So we also make a meeting of generations. 1944 wurden meine Mutter, die damals 34 Jahre alt war, und wir drei Jungs nach Hinterpommern evakuiert. Dann hieß es plötzlich nachts, ich glaube es war 4 Uhr, der Krieg kommt, die Front ist weiter hinten und dann mussten wir da los zu Fuß und dann wurde es in der Münde bombardiert. Und all die Bomben, die man hört, die schaden einem nichts. Ja, die sind vorbei, weil der Schall ja ein bisschen später kommt. Und nachdem mein Bruder dann tot war, sind wir raus auf die Straße wieder und da kamen auch Militärautos. I leave Syria because I have two choices. Like uh, I have to stay there and fight or I have to go out and uh, search for a new life, for a real life. We invited three theater people from Poland and Germany. Two are coming from Poland. They are directors of some alternative theaters and are very known for their international work. First of all, we try to understand what does it mean to be a refugee. The second is to, to speak about this. I see brown eyes, I see dark hair. The hair is like this, like this. Keep speaking, very important. It's not only work about myself and about the people which are here, but it's also work about refugee. That this that they are try to be open because it's different culture, it's different language and that they are not making some kind of ghetto. Even inside this ghetto it's not only the the real place, it's also the ghetto in the mind. For me it's the one very important key which is honestly that this work comes from the heart. All of this meeting and speaking we're making some performances and little actions and we show us in public. At the first I thought okay nobody will come when he read okay he is a refugee. But it was really a warm experience because a lot of people came to me and speak with me in Polish uh, language. I didn't really understand but I feel the warmth from their words. You feel the humanity is still here. I have a map for the city and I asked the people if, if there is a place for them to put the refugees, where will be and, and how will be. The Spanish girl friends of mine have this uh, performance with stones and just she have the straight strings in the stud and they cut it 
the stone and that image for me was very strong because it represents to me the heavy things that were. Today we have a performance in the cemetery. Before the war in 2010, I went to Moscow to study as a journalist. And Moscow is a very expensive city. My family helped me in the beginning. I'm very often confronted with these political, stupid stereotypes and I'm so sad of that. But I think it's very important to talk about things which are not political and which are like connecting people. Ich will nicht, dass irgendwelche Leute denken, die sind unser Kind hat Nazi-Eltern. Ja, aber Siegfried. Nein. Sigi. Nein. Das ist der Hub. Wir alle. Aber wo ist der Hub? Hub? Ist der Hub? Ist der Hub? Ist der Hub? Und ich? It's about the people who die here. It's about all these circumstances about war and refugees and how we deal with this in this day. I heard a lot of stories and I start to compare it, okay, this story here and this story here, it's the same in another world, in another place. The most important thing I learned from this project is like the humanity is a humanity in everywhere and we have the same stories. The world is really small, like, we have the same story always. <laughs>